Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a common yet often misunderstood health issue: urinary tract infections or UTIs. We will discuss the symptoms, why they occur, and what you can do if you suspect any symptoms. So let's get started. First of all, let's get a quick review of the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. The infection can occur in any part of the system, but most commonly, it affects the lower urinary tract. which includes the bladder and the urethra now let's talk about the symptoms the most common symptoms of a urinary tract are related to urination you might notice a strong persistent urge to urinate and when you go for urination you might pass only a small amount of urine this can be incredibly frustrating and uncomfortable this urge can feel urgent and sudden making it hard to delay or ignore another key symptom is a burning sensation when you urinate This can range from mild discomfort to severe burning feeling. Your urine might also look different. It can appear cloudy, red bright pink or cola colored which indicates blood in the urine. You might also notice a strong unpleasant smell. While urine normally has a slight odor, but a UTI can make it particularly foul smelling. Pain is another common symptom of urinary tract infection. You might feel pelvic pain especially around the center of your pelvis and around the area of your pubic bone. In men pain might be felt in the rectal area. If the infection has reached your kidneys, you might experience more severe symptoms. These can include back or side pain, high fever, shaking, chills, nausea and vomiting. But what causes these symptoms? Most of the UTIs are caused by the bacteria which enters the urinary tract through urethra and start multiplying in the bladder. Our urinary system is designed to keep out such microscopic invaders, but these defenses sometimes fail. There are several factors that can increase your risk of developing UTIs. These include being female, sexual activity, certain types of birth control, menopause, and urinary tract abnormalities. Women are more at risk due to their anatomy, which shortens the distance bacteria must have to travel to reach the bladder. So what should you do if you suspect you have urinary tract infection? First of all, it is important to see a healthcare provider. They will typically ask about your symptoms and might request a urine sample to test for the presence of bacteria. What is the treatment of UTIs? Treatment usually involves antibiotics to kill the bacteria which cause the infection. It is important to take the full course of medication even if you start feeling better. In addition to antibiotics, drinking plenty of water can help flush out the bacteria. Over the counter pain relievers can also help manage any discomfort. Some people find relief from using a heating pad on their abdomen or back. to relieve pain and discomfort to prevent UTIs there are several steps you can take drink plenty of fluids especially water urinate frequently and don't hold it wipe from the front to back to prevent the spread of bacteria and urinate soon after sexual intercourse avoid potentially irritating feminine products and change your birth control method if necessary these steps can help reduce your risk of developing a urinary tract infection always remember UTIs are common and treatable but it is important to address them promptly to avoid complications if you have any concerns or symptoms don't hesitate to reach out to the healthcare provider thanks for watching subscribe for more health videos like this